integers. Subtract integers using number line. I am Anil Kumar and I will teach you how to subtract integers using number line. We have four examples here to help us understand the process. First one is plus 4 take away minus 3. The second we could read this as take away plus 3 from minus 5. C is take away plus 1 from plus 5 and D is take away minus 7 from minus 3, right? So minus 3 subtract minus 7, you could read as take away minus 7 from minus 3, okay? Now on a number line, let us see how we can do this kind of subtraction. Let me first draw a number line. So that is a zero and some numbers on the line on the right side positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let us see. On the left negative numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I'll teach you how to do takeaway or how to subtract integers using number line. The process is we have to take away minus 3 from plus 4. So start at minus 3. Where is minus 3? This is 0, 1, 2, 3. That is minus 3. So that becomes the starting point. And then from minus 3, we have to join a line to plus 4. Where is plus 4? Plus 4 is on the right side of 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is plus 4, correct? That is plus 4. Join the line from minus 3 to plus 4. This direction of this arrow is positive. So we get an answer which is positive and the value is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. 7 units. So when you take away minus 3 from plus 4, you get plus 7. You get it. Here are the steps written for you. First step is draw an arrow from the position of the second term to the position of the first term. Second term was minus 3. First term is plus 4. Draw an arrow from second to first. Direction of this arrow gives the sign negative for left and positive for right. Since we are moving right, the answer is positive. The number of units in the arrow along with the correct sign is the answer. Number of units is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 along with the sign which is positive is the answer. Do you get it? There you go, right? So let's do one more question. This time it is minus 5 and plus 3. So let me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right. So that is our 0. Let's start with which number? the second number which is plus 3 okay 1 2 3 so that is 3 for us we have to take away 3 from minus 5 so this is the starting point for us and where do we end we end at minus 5 minus 5 is 1 2 3 4 5 there it is minus 5 we have to end here draw the arrow correct so the direction is negative we are going towards left how many units? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the answer is minus 8. Correct? Let's practice and do two more. This time I would like you to pause the video, solve the question and then check with my answer. Right? So our steps are very clear. First just make your number line. So this is our 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are positive numbers, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, correct? You have to start with plus 1, that's the second number. The question is take away 1 from 5. Now you understand why I was reading like this. Take away 1 from 5. So start at 1, which is here. And where is plus 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. So join this. So when you join you get a line which is directed right. So the number is positive. How many units? 
1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer is plus 4. I think now you've got it, right? The last one, 0. And let me write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's say these are positive numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are my negative numbers. We have to start from minus 7. Since we are taking away minus 7 from minus 3, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is minus 7, right? That's the starting point. Now, where is the end point? Minus 3. 1, 2, 3. So, this is the end point, minus 3. So, the arrow will be going from minus 7 to minus 3. That is right, means positive. How many units? 1, 2, 3, 4. We get positive 4 as our answer. So I hope the steps are clear. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the steps involved, practice doing similar questions. Right? That should help you. Thank you and all the best.